So without further ado, time for a very seasonally appropriate level at Mad Castle. Jack. Jack Kamen. Registered chaser with the guild under the Bureau's High Crimes Division. Graduated from Stanfield, joined the Marines. His squad saw some action, a few top secret missions. The Lasiria Embassy hostage crisis in 92, the Albeda Airport takeover in 97. Earned himself three silver stars. Regular hero. And good at making corpses, as we've seen. It all begins to make sense. Later says he left the Marines and joined the Varigan City PD as a detective in the Homicide Division. Oh, this is interesting. You remember the kidnapping of the Minister of Transportation's daughter? Yes, Palgastini, wasn't it? I seem to recall they paid the ransom and found the girl murdered. It seems that Jack was in charge of the case at first, but got removed after a falling out with the department heads over strategy. According to the PD, Jack went rogue after that. They claimed his actions pushed the kidnappers into killing their hostage. He gets reprimanded, they even take him to court. He's found not guilty, but he still quits the department. After which the chasers snatch him up. So who's he chasing? And what does it have to do with our games? I'll have to crack the Bureau servers. Give me a moment. Look for something high stakes. Something put up by a celebrity. Something that would interest a man like Jack. There's over 30 bounties posted here. Which could it be? There. Naomi Ann Boris, the mayor's daughter. She's on the island. So, he's after the mayor's only child, huh? Interesting. Castle was moved brick by brick to Jefferson Island from eastern Zambikistan over a century ago. Unfortunately, along with the bricks came that country's most important export, zombies. These shambling bastards who pounded every crevice in this crab castle and are harder to kill than a closet full of cockroaches. Yeah, that's cock-sucking castles inhabited by all kinds of unnatural fucking monsters. Jack better be on top of his game here, or he's gonna get killed nasty like. All right, spike six at the fountain, huh? I think I can manage that. Will it be your last breath? Will it be your last move? Will it be your last step? Good lengthwise cut, huh? Yeah, okay. So let's spike the fountain. Yeah, we're making this challenge super easy. That reminds me of an old story about the red zombie dad. Now, the one I was thinking of was I sure love watching Jack kill a fucking zombie. Haha, <laughs> that, that was. Right. Oh, last one's in the middle. Okay. Come on, that had to be it. Okay, I whiffed that one, sure, fair. What the hell? Uh, is that the trick here? Is that the joke? That it's actually really hard to get that last one? All right. Don't step too close or else it's gonna make a mess when your chest explodes. Looks like Jack's father is about to give us a new killing tools. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take a uh, golf club. Are we gonna hear about the challenge or is this a new enemy? Jack better avoid this Grim Reaper wannabe or he'll be shorter by a head. He's a pain in the neck, all right. Ooh, yeah, yeah. This turd will cut your head off if you're not careful. Believe you me, that fucking hurts. He'll give you a head that'll leave you weak in the knees. And not the good way. 
All right. Um, yeah, okay, so that guy really does uh, insta-kill you, so that's cool. I'm into that. I'm not into that. Pull the zombie to the ground and swing. Watch his head go flying. Remember, the grip is the foundation of your golf swing. And developing the right grip is critical to your success. Hitting the ball further and straighter. What the fuck are you talking about? Just wail on the fucker and smack his head off. Okay, I guess it's not instant instant death, but... Oh, right. I think there's actually like a little bonus here. You, did, you see that flying glass target, right? Yeah, you get like a little trajectory thing. All right, well, I'm already having fun. Alright, any other targets I can hit? No. Alright, I think I've had enough fun with the, uh, the golf club for now. Oh, the happy onion. Ah, there's the signpost for this stage. These lanterns. Come on. Where are you? Yeah, I'll get him with two. Ooh. Forgot that you can uh, impale dudes on trees. Sure, why not? Well, the 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 uh -oh. Jack's getting dusted out. I used to smoke dust before a game. Never seemed to help. Stay off the drugs, kids. Drink blue. Slag out. A hug is the short of all try now. Almost got caught by the death blade there. That would have been bad. I'm sure that would be an instant kill. The pit named Black Bad stops that. Ain't much for the sport. But seeing as how y'all like hitting the little white things, I present to you Bad Buff. <laughs> All right, let's go check that out. Come on, Jack. Follow the star, pull the switch, and start the bloodbath challenge. We'll just keep calling you a half a fag until you do. Oh, rude. All right. I feel like I should be able to do something with these uh, suits of armor, you know? Ah. All right, well, I'll take a torch. Burning the zombie at both ends. Why do you call it that? Because the zombie's burning at both ends. Oh, ooh, that table would look nice with a zombie set. When did you become a fucking housewife? Just watch. 
Remember, kids, when you catch on fire, you should stop, drop, and roll. This has been a public service announcement from Death Watch. We now return to our burning motherfucking zombies already in progress. God, the die here written underneath the uh, chandelier. Incredible. Oh, it's another one of those guys. All right. Oh, I can pick this up and blame it down on some poor fool's head. That lube was pretty as a picture. Yeah, a picture of a fucked up zombie. All right. Um, what if I just... Jack better be yeah, careful. there we go. I wonder. I feel like you should be able to climb on top of that thing, right? Yeah. Whatever good that was. Because somehow you got to be able to get that extra life that's actually hanging on top of this one. All right. Uh, well, let's let's have some fun with man golf, I guess. Stop staring. This challenge is exactly like golf. Yeah, except instead of hitting golf balls, you hit the heads right. of the assholes you push to the ground. Besides that, though, it's exactly like golf. Exactly. Except instead of hitting the ball, or in this case, the head, into a hole, you hit it through the ring. Sure, sure, but besides that, it's exactly like golf, right? Actually, it's pretty much nothing like golf, except you use a golf club. Exactly. Yeah, to be fair, I did slice it with that thing off. For what? For fuck's sake, you idiot. It's what you say when you tee off. Nice shot for an airhead. What do you call it, Jack? An airhead? You kidding me? Kill me. I just meant that that was a nice shot. There we go. Getting some fun by... I'm getting these uh, multiple targets in a row. Wow, Jack with the mash and mashing it. That's a pretty inside golf term. You play a lot? Never. That's the boy's half name. Mashing it. And it's a hole in one. More like a hang in hole. Jack just said, Look at that. For the massacre. Previously held by Jackie's artists and blowjob experts for biting sausage cutlers. This is a story out of nowhere. You talking about? It's a movie reference. Look it up, idiot. No, no. Jack handles his wood like a pro. Nope. Won't touch that one. Give me something harder. Oh, you want hardwood? I got that. Stop right there. And a long guy. Straight towards the green. Green. Oh, I see a lot of fucking red. Wow. Hmm. Jack puts the mash and mashing implant. That's a pretty inside golf term. You play a lot? Never. That's the boy's half name. Right, mashing implant. Give me something good here. Gotta line up sooner or later, right? One minute, the amount of time your wife spent fucking you on your honeymoon. All I have to do is pull the trigger. That's all you have to do. Oh. For, right. for what? For fuck's sake, you idiot. It's what you say when you take off. Take it. Yeah, it's like a yeah, fucker's head train off. Heads up. All right, did not get all of those in one go, so I, I tried. Jack's got to work on that snap hook of his. What's the problem? Snap that guy's head off pretty good. That 
Ooh, there we go. That was that was cool. I feel very accomplished. Uh, oh, I broke my torch. Release it happened. The hounds. I've always wanted to say that. Shamans, huh? Well, it sounds like it's my turn to uh, try to become the zombie or the shaman king. All right. Uh, that did not go so well. Let's first of all, let's do that. Okay, so that's how the guy can kill you. Liar, liar, zombie on fire, dude. Yeah, let's so just dead. go for it. motherfuckers chewed my ass off in the 04 games and to this day i still shit a little crooked when you hear them howl get ready for a rabid mauling from the whole savage pack i didn't know you shot crooked little bit little bit I smell god all right well here we go These guys are gonna try to spin dash me so that's What do I have to do? Ah, oh, when the hunter becomes the hunter. These fuckers don't seem so tough. You know what, Howard? Not one on one, but when they fight as a pack, they can chew the balls right off you. And you know this because. Oh, Jesus, Howard, you just want to see my balls, don't you? Maybe. Ooh, took some stun damage from that. That's less than ideal. Normally, jamming a street lamp into an enemy is pretty effective, yeah? With these zombies, ooh, that's a match. One attack to soften him up, and another to finish him. Classic combo strategy. And you can't spell class. Well, what the fuck is that? Enough? That's a free life. I will take that. All right, where's the boss here? All right, the dodge did not help me very much there. And there are more of them. All right, what am I doing here? Jack looks like he was rode hard and put away wet. What does that mean? It's a horse metaphor. What does that mean? He sure is, Howard. Oh. Another life for Jack. I'll take that. I used to life once and came back as a roach. Sounds like you got the wheel of karma, extra life. I actually enjoyed it. You know, a cockroach can live for a week without its head? Big deal. I went through eight years of marriage without any head. Unless that onion is in a martini. I don't know why it's so healthy. All right. Throw some barrels at this guy, I think. He stays still long enough for it? That worked, that worked. All right. Even better than a rolled up newspaper for training bad dogs. These fuckers don't seem so tough. You know what, Howard? Not one on one, but when they fight as a pack, they can shoot the balls right off you. And you know this because. Oh, uh, Jesus, Howard, you just want to see my balls. Oh. Yeah, ah. Guess that was the hint earlier. Oh, yeah, the zombie. oh, I missed the power strike. Remember, pet owners? Even better than stick. 
in your dog space, you pile of shit. Jack's gonna need a real good shot after this mauling. Right, I wanna get the power struggle. Come on. Snap out of the jack and muscle that ninja mutt. There we go. Extreme All right. Oh, Jack's gonna deal with the whole damn pack. Wave up. Ah, yes. Alright, got the motion QTEs working. That's good. Nunchuck action. Alright, I'll take it. Ah, get rotated, idiot. Oh my god. Uh. All right. Here we go. The gruesomest donut you've ever seen. And the results are in. What do you make of them, Crease? You know I can't read, you bastard. I know. I just like rubbing your nose in it. I uh, get it because that's what you do to dogs. That's what you commonly. The, the common wisdom for what to do to dogs. I don't like that. No. Nope. Alright, let's go on to the dungeon. No sense in waiting. So, a target's in this castle, huh? Complete with facilities for getting medieval, no less. I can't decide whether that's really cool or really perverse. Maybe both. Mayor Boris is quite the real estate mogul. He had that castle brought over from Austria and renovated it to be a hotel. It was supposed to be open this Christmas. They were holding a private opening ceremony for A-listers the day the Death Watchers hit. The paparazzi were literally foaming at the mouth outside. But the mayor wasn't there? Oh, the hotel was his daughter Naomi's baby. She was the one throwing the party. She's still alive. I'm tapping into the same circuit the Death Watchers are using to run their game. Everyone but the rich and famous seem to be forced into playing, but I'm not sure why. Maybe they struck some kind of deal with game control? You think? Wouldn't there have been some communication with the mayor? Probably. I guess we'll know for sure when I get her. Come on, Jack, can't you at least finish the onion? Hello, pimps, players, and pain purveyors. How's everybody doing out there? I don't give a fuck. Sorry to interrupt the mayhem, but there's a very special person I'd like to introduce to you all. That's right, motherfuckers. It's your motherfucker, Jack Kamen, in this bitch. This motherfucker is a bounty hunter with the chasers. During the day, he tracks down missing children and dangerous criminals for fun and profit. But when it comes time to chill, Jack just likes to smoke motherfuckers and kill cigars. But for all you motherfuckers that already know him, I guess I don't need to tell you that. Because you're all dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, Jack is one tough cookie, ex-marine special ops and expert in all forms of kicking that ass. In other words, just what we looking for here at the Death Watch games. <laughs> but there's only one problem, Jack's not here to play the game. No, this motherfucker's chasing tail. Hey, Naomi, it's you. Naomi Ann Boris. This fine motherfucker, as you all know, is the daughter of Varigan City's Emperor. Uh, I mean, Mayor Boris. Jack's here at the mayor's request to rescue his daughter. Oh, ain't that shit sweet? You know what the problem with fame is? Jack, look out. Groupies. I like that he's cracking his prosthetic knuckles. I How much should that. we put on him? One million. 
and change the money line for the audience to minus 200 on the contestants, plus 300 on Jack. One million motherfucking dollars to the one who bags Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! A bounty on a bounty hunter? Clever. You know, the mayor's daughter sure didn't seem all that distressed for uh, being captured. Hmm. Callously carved cadavers, violent vivisections, and just plain crazy science gone wrong. Science! That's what's hidden behind the blood-spattered walls of the castle's monstrous laboratory. Anyone dumb enough to wander into this basement butcher shop unprepared is likely to wind up with an electrode up his ass and six pig tits grabbed into his back. Seven, huh? Seven pig tits. They sold one out my stomach, too. Dude, awesome. All right. Here we go. All right, I've already got the big long driller. All right, let me see if I can really floor trap. All right. Well, the challenge is to stick five signs into him. Um, I have to find any signs. And then I gotta find the enemy himself. Let's see, I feel like the trick to this, to getting... Oh, didn't quite Out of sight, out of mind. Jack's definitely out of his mind. I already got the spike back. Do you mean the right killing tool? I do it. Alright, this should count as a sign. Hmm. Alright, it did not work. I can really sympathize with Jack right now and how he feels. Thinking back to your days on Deadwatch. Alright, I think I gotta stun this guy. Oh, really that did not work. Like that's not Jack. I can't believe you can feed yourself without the help of a trained nurse. But life is full of surprises. Alright, let's see if I can stun him long enough to get him with some signs. What the game classifies as a sign. Come on. Where the hell is it? See, he's, he's done. And it's too late. Why are you picking up people instead of dude? The sign, uh, whatever. Take it out on the zombie. After all that, the candles are still lit. Jack's just a barrel of laughs, isn't it? I don't think his victims laughing. Anything good? Let's try this again. I'm going to go to a sign that's still on the ground, like so. And the driller 
It's not actually stunned after that. I gotta beat him up some more. Ooh, like he a team. All right, that's on me. I can see that. Sign. Where's the sign? Escaped again. Don't like that. Not fair. Now where else can I go? Here's a place. Alright, let's. Oh, it's pretty low effort for a joke, but okay. There we go. I get it. Wow. Can't believe. But that's that they actually made a joke like that. Seriously, there should be like more levels to this, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait a second, there's an explosive barrel nearby, right? Tired yet, dude? Well, at least I got one mat, one What's sign in it. Let him feel that. Uh, there it is. Explosive barrel. Alright, let's see if I can. Well, that was an idea that turned out to be wrong. They're like a map I can look at. 
Let's all finish this guy off. Wow, what a baby. Running away after taking one chainsaw flash to the gut. Oh, wow, I can't believe this guy is still all the way here. Um, okay, let's see here. I could have sworn there was something to, like throwing bodies onto that balance to try to uh, make something funny happen. Are you ready for it? Are you ready to ride? What a time is you be ready to die? Will you fight for your life? Will you go down? That part of the environment is not interactable. Okay. There's gotta be more. I can finish building my playroom in an afternoon with that thing. Oh, oh boys and their toys. Looks like hey, it's Michael. Like a little trick from little Eddie. Stealing it looks to me. Yeah. But on the other hand, who cares? If I really? Well, at least now, it gets we me the blood back. much challenge. people nowadays love to ask for seconds to greedy motherfuckers. So that's why we're giving you an extra big helping hand of what you require and desire. Pips, players, and pain purveyors, give it up for the Death Press 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. All right. Hey, Jack, remember all that fun stuff that you did in Death Press 1? Well, Death Press 2 is yeah, go fuck up some punks and earn some. Sorry, Chris Creeley. How y'all tricks doing? It's me, baby. The Black Baron. Stop staring. <laughs> now, the rules to this one are easy with a capital EZ. When the big hand is out and looking for action, toss a G in there and let it squeeze the pip juice out of him. And when the hand goes away, you never know where it's going to come back out to play. So stay on your toes, layers. Oh, ah. oh, shit, shit, nigga, shit. So the deal here is for Jack to grab as many assholes as he can and toss them over to that big right. bitch slapping monster ball. It's Dr. Mundo. And in the bonus time, the handle go crazy and auto smack the zombs in the red page. Got to hand it to you, you nailed that. Like the postman mailed your ass wife. Hey, special delivery. Looks like the human body doesn't bounce off walls. What do you would think? It's the bones. You know, I think this guy's bones are all shattered now. So maybe if Jack gave another try, he'd bounce. Hey, there you go. That's how you do it. Spank him hard. Line him up and throw a dude into the hand to, to get this guy going. Those goons under that monster's men if he wants to score points. Yeah, I think I did a pretty okay job for how to Exactly trying. Are you kidding, Jack? Throws little girls under moving buses. That was just a bad toss. Okay, let's see here. I want to see if I can launch a dude into that. Oh, I hate to be the guy who has to clean that off the wall. Clean it. Now I'm going to a paint that's good as new. 30 seconds. I'm going to do it. You should. There's another triple, right? Or, in this case, better victim big monster hand coordination. I 
just don't get got by the hand. Uh, the hand didn't actually hurt all that much. See, the thing that made you stop playing this, Tyrion, hello. I don't know, what did make you stop playing this? Was it the... The shamans? The... The not werewolves? Or was it the enemy that can instantly kill you? Because uh, either one it would be valid. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that guy managed to get me once. But I didn't really interact with him. So, I don't know, maybe I just got lucky. I still can't help but feel like there should be more math for me to go around. But I don't find it. I just don't see it. Oh! Oh, I just need one dude. Come on. I'm here. I murder you on. Oh, that didn't work. So, no. right. Here we go. Can I set multiple dudes on this thing? Alright. I love this bit. Bouncing those bastards off the seesaw reminds me of I'll settle for a triple. You must have had a fucked up childhood. You don't even want to know. Alright. Now, there's clearly something about this door. Well, it's not a door. It's a breakable wall. It's cracked and everything. But I don't know what to do. Classic rose bush type action. See. Seriously, this area is way too small for all the killing that I have to do. Time for another big long driller. All right, well, that might make things a tad more interesting. Boy, do I need it. I whipped on this, the last day of baseball season. Looks like Jack should have been a baseball player. You really think so? Fuck no. He would murder the other team, his team, and anybody who didn't get out of the stadium fast enough would at least make the game exciting. Amen to that. How do those happy bills work? Well, there are two kinds. If Jack takes a blue pill, the story ends. He wakes up right. in his bed, believes whatever he wants to believe. Jack takes the red pill, he stays in Wonderland, and sees how... Now you do the challenge and stick this guy with more signs. Jack's held the world record for most shit jammed in a guy's head for the past three years. As well as consecutive yardage of entrails extracted from enemies, gallons of plasma spattered in ten minutes or less, and blood-curdling screams elicited from right. severed throats. He's also a record holder in the 100-meter slap. I did not I know that. pull this off. 
Ooh, just missed it for the third one. Third one in this guy. Not happy about it. If you can believe that. Whoops. I'm not happy about taking that hit. For being... As long as we're keeping it real, you know? Alright, he's had enough for now. Fine. I'm starting to worry that I might run out of just actual time. I don't know if there's a way for me to check. Let's see if it's on, like, the status screen or anything. Alright, still got about 15 minutes left. He's exhausted. Do I have any signs lying around? Don't think I do. It's gonna make uh, completing this challenge a little difficult. Alright, there's one. There's something about tipping scales, but I don't know how to do it. I mean, I see the scales. I'd love to get that life. But I have no idea how to actually, like, do that. Well, I guess we're doing this. All right. That was nice and easy. All right. Nope. Part that kills me is that I swear I saw a bunch of explosive barrels on the second floor. Still have no idea how I would get there. All right. I just want to stun him. All right. There's sign number four. What's amazing to me is after all that, the candles are still lit. It's almost ironic that the that the big guy there has like an elephant mask. Because when I see him stuck with uh, those candelabras, it's more like a uh, bull in a you know, bullfight. Oh my god, there is a way to the second floor. My god. I knew this area was too small. Mr. Big Long Driller, come back. Please. Right, well, maybe if I just carry this around, bring it back. No, wait, I can't just go back that way. That's not gonna work. Oh, there we go. Come on. 
There we go. Complete the challenge. Turn that into super violence. Is he running away? I think he's running away. All right. That took entirely too long, so let's uh, let's just go for the boss. Unless Mr. The Big Long Driller wants to come back in the next few seconds, I'll give him I'll give him a little bit. Wow, those French people cutters separate the men from the boys, or at least they separate the zombie tops from the zombie bottoms. <laughs> Being on the internet in 2022 means that uh, that sure that joke sure has a different uh, interpretation. I hate the way those fucking zombies regenerate. Oh yeah, they're just like my genital warts. Burn them off and they come back stronger. Nice visual. God. Sure is an interesting water effect now that I'm looking at it. Oh yeah! Frank! I remember you fighting this guy in the 07 games. He had his arm so far up your ass that you look like an adorable hand puppet. Yeah, well they took the toughest chucks off a bunch of dead fighters and stitched them together to make this electric motherfucker. Yeah, he's dumb as a box full of blondes but stronger than shit with a punch that'll zap the ass off you. Clumsy fucker, though. Jack can take him if he fights smart and fast. Can't believe this monster wants to mash. All right, let's see here. How do I deal with this? I should have been that time. Yeah, don't want to stick around in the uh, damage floor. Really? Fine. Fine. The zero life count. Got anything else for me, game? Unscrew him. Why not? Ah. Smell the burning ozone? I think Frank just shit his pants. No, that was me. Where do they get these crap sandwiches? Yeah. Service, a dumpster? Just want to get out of the water, I think. Yeah, that looks like that was the wise idea. Oh, don't like that. Jump and get me out of there? Uh, good enough. I would very much hate to take a game over to the boss and have to redo the stage or something. 
Oh, he's back to full health. Significant his health. Alright, well, I guess I'll just uh, get in there with the uh, chainsaw slashes. Oh, that was the one. It's on me. Okay, here we go. They always end with some sort of brutal dismemberment or internal injury or something. What's not to love? Okay, yoink. Yeah, definitely want to get out of the water. Whether that's actually advisable, I can't say. Sure feels like it should be, though. Ironically, I think he's supercharged. That's not good. Sorry, Jack, you got your ass Can I just restart the boss fight? Like, from the start of the boss fight? They make me do the whole stage again. They're making me do the whole stage again. Oh my god. Fine. Fine. I'm not gonna record it. Alright, take two. For the record, it took about uh, 10 minutes, if that. Nah, let's skip this. Okay. That's okay. Alright, ready for the power struggle? I love these power struggles. They always end with some sort of brutal dismemberment or internal injury or something. What's that to love? I'm just give him a few more chops just for good measure. Alright. I've got to let my chainsaw gauge rebuild. Hmm, don't like that. What if I said no? Okay. Gotta get out of the water. I don't want to get zapped to death again. Teach you to try to chain or try to smack me. This is what I call a power struggle. Yeah, 
Bolt number three. And four. This ship had staggered, Jack. Now neutralize his amalgamated ass. What the fuck's amalgamated? Read a book, moron. Watch you get laid. Let's give him something to see. That chainsaw's about to die. Jack's next. All right. Definitely don't want him to zap me. Health down to zero. I thought it was called his third leg. I was talking about the chance. Oh, I thought you were checking out this Andrew Packer. We'll be back with Lee's leather and shorts. I think Jack's pretty much shot his load. Speaking of which, nah, never mind. That one was too damaged. Unfair. Yeah, I got magic pixels. I mean, this is how it works with all the bosses. Is uh, you can't kill them until you do the fancy finisher. I was just hoping they would give me the prompts. Oops, don't like that. But it's cool, I've got two extra life bars. Got one extra life bar. Oh, cool, you can jump that too. Alright, well that's that makes it uh, more fair, I suppose. That's got to be it. Come on, where's the prompt? Finish him. Ah. Okay, that's fair. Overload him with electricity, like filling an air. With two, uh, filling a... God, I can't believe I screwed up the quote already. Like filling a balloon with too much air. Like Jack was just sort of phoning it in. Totally phoning it in. His fans deserve more. That's enough out of you. Right. One overcharger device. All right. Now the boss of the arena. Ah, Elise. Hey, hold on. I want to see something. Why does it... Why is it lit up like that? It doesn't matter. We're going to the boss. Look at him work. The man's a machine. All for you, Naomi. Your knight's going to need a fire hose to get that blood off his shining armor. I had nothing to do with this. I hadn't even heard about it until now. I'm sure this is one of my father's schemes. Oh, the idiot. So, what are you gonna do when he gets here? Well, she's going to let him save her, of course. She's the damsel in distress. Dirge Factory Church is one of the oldest cathedrals in Verigan City. Once a beautiful tourist attraction, it's now been declared a public safety hazard and is scheduled for demolition. In the meantime, the place is a favorite makeout spot for local teenagers who are a regular source of protein for the ravenous bats, rats, and various vermin who nest in this crumbling death town. All right, you can't help but wonder if maybe they're trying to say something about uh, society with this game, perhaps.
You know, I like a gal who sucks as much as the next guy, but this blood-hungry bitch can give a hickey that'll put you in the morgue. Yeah, I fought her in the Eastern Bloc games and lost the match. Four pints of plasma and was declared legally dead for a week. Awesome rack on her, though. Oh, true that. While you're blinded by her headlights, she'll sick a swarm of bastard bats on you to mess up your shit. Plus, the fuckers have fleas. Awesome rack on her, though. True that. Oh, great commentary, guys. A+. Plus. Oh, she asked for it. Don't like too fast. You are a total pussy. What's your fucking problem? All those bats are driving me bats. Oh yeah, sure, bring the bats. Remember, real life bats are friends. I can't even trim my dog on this shit. Of your ass, color me it's sonorific. Alright, where, where did she go? Uh, glowing means she can recharge her health. Glowing means she is recharging her health. Can I, can I just not do anything about it? Yeah, this, this does have extreme vibes of Nevin from DMC3. Well, to a certain extent. Seriously, where, what am I supposed to do? Oh my god, am I? I'm just an idiot, that's all. Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. Jack, please. That bitch is shaped and baked. And does that mean that Jack won the power struggle? Yes, it does. Why can't you just fucking say something? A lot of damage, though. I'll take it. If she's a vampire, shouldn't Jack be using a silver chainsaw? Or a wooden chainsaw? Or a diamond chainsaw? Dude, are you off your meds again? Yes, why? All right, so I assume she's gone into hiding again, and I have to find which alcove she's in, and it's the exact same one as before, so okay. Just like that, she's already down for the count. Strip him and clip him. That's how you beat a bitch. Are you talking about death bots or your dating techniques? Same difference. Nice move, Jack. Yeah, I've never seen a guy get a chick's clothes off so fast. And Jack win. I think after uh, killing so, that peak at Elise, we yeah. all win. <laughs> sure. And she's out the window with her yeah, really. Jack. Did you see that? That was awesome. Oh, yeah. Jack did a good job. major ass kicking and what a nice ass it they, was well okay they were just, there they go i was gonna say they didn't really half ass it with the that finisher there i didn't even have to do anything to press the button but you know what i'll take an easy boss why not You, Naomi? Your father sent me. I'm guessing you know why.
I can't believe the crowd is still cheering him on. Yes, you're Jack, the Chaser. I can't thank you enough for coming to rescue me. Here, your reward. I get it. You people are enjoying this. You weren't caught up in some crisis. This is all part of your opening ceremony. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Amala, have the mayor taken into custody. Roger. No, no, Jack. My father has nothing to do with this. Wow. Guess the house doesn't always win. I'm out of here. What about the girl? You're right. Should have probably killed the bitch, but I got work to do. What? No, I didn't mean... Wait, what work? Can't believe Jack has some ulterior... ulterior motive. All right, well, let's go to Area 66. Oh, we're back to motorcycle time. Against Kojak. All right. Guess the house doesn't always win. I'm out of here. You're right. Should have probably killed the bitch, but I got work to do. He's communicating with someone over a transmitter. Took you the that chaser long to must be one of out? those fixers. Can't we get any sound? No, it's one of those inner ear jobs. There's no sound to get. We did pick up some fishy signals, but the encryption is military grade. I thought we had the keys to all the chaser encryption schemes. So did I, but not this one. Maybe it's a new code. Strange. That smile. I've seen it somewhere before. There's a flood of audience interest in Jack. How much have we lost? 145 million at present, sir. <laughs> what? The entire audience must have bid on him. Only 30% or so, but there was no point limit. We had some bids over the 100,000 mark. Should we remove Jack from the bidding? I do. You put him we at can't plus do that. 300. He's our star player. I don't know much about or can gambling. We eliminate him quietly. But I do no. know that if the money lines at plus 300, camera, you're paying out a lot if he wins. It. I know he's supposed to be good, sir. But what if he's up against something he's never seen before? Continue. Look at this. What exactly am I looking at? We found this during our analysis of the municipal data. As you know, we already did a thorough scan of the military installation on the eastern side of the island. But then we found some interesting discrepancies in the power usage records. What's this very interesting uh, operator here? Jack there. I don't know if Will it's do. just me, but he kind of sounds him at like minus uh, 400 with no limit and be sure to mention we don't know his current whereabouts. Yes, sir. Oh, see, now You're they figured right. it out. Should have probably killed the bitch, but I got work to do. Work? What might that be, I was going to say, the operator sounded kind of like Robin Atkin Downs, the voice of Travis Touchdown. Howard and Trace back live with you from Area 66. This giant military industrial warehouse is kept at a balmy 87 degrees. Yep, the things that live here like it hot. If Jack is going to make it out, he's going to have to take advantage of the natural surroundings to do some serious right. damage. Uh, this place is man-made. There is nothing really natural about it. If you keep interrupting me, I'm going to rip out everything in your dead as man be. Now let's go down to the action. For you hippies in the audience, those are hybrid motorcycles. They look good. Actually, I think they run on a fuel made of a veal and busy silver. Why the technology is going a long way. Don't stand behind them, though. They give off sulfuric acid. You know the worst part about fighting oh, these guys is for Jack. Oh, getting kills I didn't even plan on. 
Oh, yeah. Big jump. This is just a losing track, but cool. Oh yeah! Pips, players, and pain purveyors. It's time you took a look at the most golden of all arches, the Bloodbath Challenge, Arch of Anarchy! Pass through this bad boy, and you wanna ride straight to hell, courtesy of the Road Rampage. Alright, well it's on the left hand side, so. Okay. A little too much going on there for me to. For your hippies in the audience, those are hybrid motorcycles. Electric? Actually, I think they run on a fuel made up of veal and baby seal fur. Wow, the technology has come a long way. Don't stand behind them, though. They give off sulfuric acid. That'll teach that prick not to wear a helmet. Well, they're just making it easy at this point. Okay. Here we go. Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> y'all know a minute with the Black Baron is guaranteed to send you right back to heaven. But y'all's got to give the devil his due now. And the best way is to find yourself some alien looking gray motherfuckers and run down as many of they bitch asses as you can. Watch them close, though. Because if they make a move, those little bug eyed freaks is worth mad points, yo. Baby, baby, yo, 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 baby, baby. The Black Baron's package may be otherworldly, but I'm still human, girl. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Oh, hell no! All right. Well, that's... It's fun we're having. Running, folks, because we are about to ride through this blood bath challenge. You know what I like better than a motorcycle? Two motorcycles? How'd you know that? I heard you practicing the line in the bathroom during the break, you cocksucker. Hey, look, a color that's not red or yellow. So just shake the Wiimote for an attack. Turn around by shaking the nunchuck. Basic. Simple enough. Hard time already. Yeah, Jack, open what? up those sticky grays and show us the color of their inside. What color is that? I'm not sure. It's not red, though. No. Fucking aliens. Gross. That's the way, Jack. Make that great problem before you pop them. I don't know if that alien was a dude or a chick, but Jack sure made it his bitch. I'm use sex an alien anyway, as often as I can. Yeah, Jack, open up those sticky yeah. grays and show us the color of their inside. There you go. What color is that? I'm not sure. It's not red, though. No. Fucking aliens. Alright, there's more, there's more. Who's got the right away now, bitch? The great beat it. Better than being beaten. You're gonna have your primary colors, red, yellow, and green. Those are the primary colors, right? That's the way, Jack. Make that great rival before you pop them. That bike's going to need a wash. Yeah, Jack! Open up those sticky grays and show us the color of their inside. What color is that? I'm not sure. It's not red, though. Fucking aliens. <laughs> he saw what Jack did to that other asshole and skipped out. This proves well, that they're intelligent. 170,000, I guess, is pretty all right. I'll take it. Unless there's an extra zero there, and I don't know how to count.
I hope Jack had a stiff drink before he took off. I know I would. Drinking and driving, kids, a killer combination. Looks like more roadkill for Jack. Who's teaching all these aliens to ride bikes anyway? They are a superior race. No, the fuck what? I'm superior to a dog, but I still don't know how to lick my ass. All right, I guess we're just doing this until it's uh, time to fight the boss. You know the worst part about fighting all these guys is for Jack. They can overpower him. No, he won't be able to enjoy each kill on an individual basis. He's a kill on a ball poor guy. That guy is getting ran from behind harder than your ex-wife. Although, to her credit, she doesn't buckle up that. Hey, Frost. Oh, Jack, you gotta really shake that thing. Shake it like you mean it. You sound like my ex-wife. Don't get any ideas, buddy. I ain't gonna spank your ass and call you sour. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Wow, I can't believe that guy actually managed to land a hit. Again with the hybrid motorcycle show. Getting there slowly but surely. Goal is 2.8 million. Yeah, so it's in the uh, stream title, but I guess I should explain it. Uh, yeah, the the categories that uh, Twitch automatically applies to the game uh, include horror. It also includes open world, which uh, I'm pretty sure that's not accurate. Maybe that's it. Oh, Repeated jokes. I must have heard it at least like five or six times now for each one for this level. But okay, we're moving on to the boss already. So it's fine. Everything's cool. Yeah, someone tried. Looks like Jack's going to face Kojak in this round. I love Kojak. That dude never, and I mean never, gets off his bike. I love it. Why do you love that? Okay, honestly, I could give a fuck that he never gets off his bike. In fact, I think it's stupid, but Kojak paid me to say Said he wants someone to promote not getting off his bike as his thing. That's funny, because he paid me to ask why you love him so much. Fucker. I'm gonna fuck you. Oh, this guy's a total ripoff. Jack is ramming himself against Kojak. Oh, right. So basically, Jack is ramming himself against himself. We are watching the most violent masturbation ever. <laughs> this is a bitch. Come on, Kojak, you get taped up. Sounds like somebody's going for Kojak. It wouldn't be an action game if you didn't have a mirror match at some point. Great shot by Jack. Maybe that's what Kojak wants you to think. Maybe it's all part of his plan. What plan? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm sure it's awesome, though. This All right, power struggle. Come on, Kojak, treat him like a 50-cent whore. Don't you need $2 whore? Hey, times are tough. Sell out. Can't believe they made a joke about this economy. 
Well, it was 2009, so that was uh, very timely. Alright, here we go. Round two. Oh, wow. How did I lose that one? I think I just screwed up the waggle. It must have detected me going right when I was supposed to be going left. They want me to go left, right? Right? Left? Right? Down. What the fuck was that? Jack winning the power struggle. No shit, Dick. Why? I mean, how did Kojak lose? Jack beat him. Oh, All right, here we go. Let's finish this off. What do you call a Death Watch contestant that doesn't kill anyone? What? Jack. That was a lame joke. Never said it was a joke. That was a lame comment. Never said it. Oh, shut up. Oh, my motorcycle. I'm still holding out hope for Kojak. Most people don't come back from being cut in half. I wasn't worried about that. Kojak is tough. I'm more worried about how he's going to handle the damage to his bike. You have an amazing denial system. Maybe he can ride his bike as a unicycle. Yeah, that's it. Oh, Jack's up shit creek now. All right. Yeah, sometimes we motion controls were, uh, were a thing, but uh, hey, let's uh, go back for more Area 66. Yeah, I guess it was, maybe it was just Kojak's motorcycle that blew up, which, all right, fine. Guess he's getting off it now. So he got through. We're getting a large number of claims from the audience, sir. I'm not sure how much longer we can keep Jack's feed black. Work to do. Could he mean chaser work? If so, who is he after? Number three, number six, number seven, number 15. Some of our biggest supporters are threatening to pull funding. We're getting more complaints from the mass audience as well, sir. Fine, fine. Open the channels to the installation. Put in a request to the sponsors of our top 10 ranked contestants. See if they'll agree to pitting their men against Jack. Right away. Sponsors. Who's sponsoring Jack? It's number 13, sir. Lord Gesser. Yes. Your Gesser is Except as good as mine. the contract was voided last night after the skirmish in Asian Town. This says the contract with Jack was presenting issues. Someone is still supporting him. He's a popular player. Anyone in our audience could be supplying him with weapons, contract or not. True enough. And we're sure Lord Gesser backed out. Sponsor contestant agreements are strictly confidential, but all signs point to ties being severed. Then get me Gesser. I need to speak with him. Yes, sir. I still think that guy sounds like Robin Atkin Downs. Information about this area is limited, since anybody who's ever known about this place has either disappeared or been lobotomized. Judging from your comments throughout the course of this event, I'd have to guess the latter in your case, Grease. Fuck you! But yeah, that would kind of explain a lot of things. All right. The, vision, the metal plate in my head, the mysterious foreign object up my ass. Oh. Big jump, going from 11 to 5. Come up for this. Yeah, you can kind of see it during uh, during the last level, but instead of muscle-bound thugs, we've got jacked-up soldiers. Yeah, Master Miller from uh, Metal Gear Solid. Just ask, please. Oh. Now take your last one. Be trusted. And Jack gets a jolt from the electric beam. 
I thought there was a thing you could do with like this slot here. Oh, there's a turbine here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try to keep an eye out for uh, voice credits. Andre Olmeda, Killer Seven. Not sure what's character. I like new weapons. All right, let's have some fun with uh, whatever we got here. Combine that with another environmental kill to watch your score skyrocket. Asshole in a can is a trade. Old B to pull in, A to fire. You know, for severing ties with uh, sponsor number 13, Agent 13 is giving us uh, a lot of updates. Alright, I got you. Triple, all right. The only thing I can like, launch them into? I guess the turbine. I, I missed. And the funny thing about Cam Clark is that he's uh, a very prolific voice actor. He's been at it for decades at this point. So even though I know that his role as uh, Master Miller in Metal Gear Solid is uh, definitely one of his famous ones, uh, it wouldn't surprise me that everyone's got different uh, associations with him. So mine is uh, might actually be Kratos from Tales of Symphonia. Because whenever I think of Tales of Symphonia, one thing that always comes to mind is in battle, how frequently uh, he would say, don't overdo it. First aid. Like, a lot. Of course, that wasn't a very good Cam Clark impression, but hopefully we get the idea. Give me a lot of dudes to mess up with this uh, this thing. Yeah, no one shuts up mid-fight. That's true. Generally, I like my canings administered by a dominatrix dressed like a British nanny. But this time, my military trip's kind of jinky. Fiber slicers. See, I knew they were a thing. I just didn't think that they were uh, robo ninjas. All right, that's fine. Speaking of Tales of Symphonia, though, I can't believe they've, uh, they're have coming up with uh, another re-release. It's just too bad that I, can't, I also can't believe that I actually care about this. Uh, but it's too bad that uh, the version of Tales of Symphonia that they're going to put on Switch is the 30 FPS version. Because the original GameCube version was 60 frames. Okay. Uh, I'm probably going to take a death here at some point. It's just how this game is. That's it. Jack is dead meat. Yeah, so... I believe the uh, the common belief for what happened is uh, Tales of Symphonia got a PS2 release uh, that had a little extra content, uh, but 
they also cut the frame rate from 60 to 30. And uh, uh, they would later port it to PS3 for you know, giving it the HD paint job. And uh, it was based on the PS2 version. So that means the PS3 version was also 30 frames a second. Uh, the game has since been released on Steam, uh, based on that PS3 HD version, uh, also at 30 FPS. Uh, and uh, the I think even the website has said it. Uh, the new Switch version is also going to be 30 FPS. It's like the game is 20 years old. 20 years old and they can't even fix the frame rate to what it used to be. I guess if it's like your first time, then you, you, know, you wouldn't really notice the difference. But, uh, I don't know. It, I normally wouldn't think about that kind of thing, but it is kind of uh, disappointing overall. Xire, thank you for the lurk. One of these days I will set a lurk command. Probably not, because I've said that several times already. But thanks for lurking. Oh, damn, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, the mid-game frame rate change, that's easy to notice for sure. How long have you been a nine-year-old girl? I'm going to say, how long is that bit going to go? All right, I kind of want to do the mid-air guile backbreaker again, so... Dude, come here. Oh. Oh, okay, I guess we're going to do this finish Wait a minute, nobody said there'd be math. Let's explore more of the level, I guess. I shouldn't even say anything about, you know, the, uh... Ooh. Wait a second. First of all, you can't have a sound effect just be delete. Second of all, why is there an airlock? Ooh, language. Yeah. Definitely the uh, the kind of edgy that you would find, uh, well, pretty much anywhere. But what I mainly, primarily associate with. Uh, like a something awful type commentary circa 2009. Oh, okay. And in high school. Well, see, I wasn't in high school in 2009, but I was only two years removed from high school in 2009. So that also tracks. I want to. Don't want to. I'm trying to say, I did not want to put the barrel on the guy. I wanted to blow the guy up with the barrel. Oh, okay. I want to find this alien for the bonus points. Man, those are the nails that 
soldiers from the electric wheel. You know, in some countries, they'll get you just for throwing gum on the sidewalk. But do they use electric canes? No, just regular bamboo canes. They're just a bunch of fun to do it. And they deserve dummy sidewalks. You're strict. Yeah, I'm not gonna say. I, well, I can't say when I notice people stop using it. I think my friend group, once I got to college, they were definitely against uh, using it that way. Now every pimp knows it's good to have a hoe, but what you gotta know for sure is two hoes is better than one. Same goes for the money shot, right? So what makes money shot too special? You'll find out soon, pimps and players. I already, I did not pay attention to like the reward list or whatever. Really a challenge? I mean, Jack is tearing through these. Did not remember that this was uh, the other challenge. Well, here we go. Sooner or later. I think the lift was back here. Alright, uh, not exactly what I intended to do, but... Sure, let's... Where's that guy even hiding? There's nowhere for him to be. Right, do we get some, like, carbonite action here? Is that what's going to happen? If I throw this guy into the... Into the... Nope. Yeah, that's a carbonite. Oh my god. I can't believe they just played it back to back twice. Oh, wait, that was a different adjective. Hmm. Still don't like it. So this piece of crap travels across the universe? I don't buy it. I bet you think the moon landing was fake too. Don't even get me started. This shit is ham. Wow, a box of donuts. dimension of imagination it's in and we'll just skip over that twilight zone parody i think and the black motherfucking baron is gonna be a pimp to teach your ass the rules are simpler than turning out an ugly broke ass college girl from kansas just pop the cork in some mark and send them flying sky high except the bitches you gonna be popping corks in ain't gonna mind because they alien asses used to be space cadets you know what i mean Baby, you want a money shot yourself, don't you? <laughs> People, she don't talk much, but she into some freaky shit. Let me tell you, she could take a pop. Baby, tell him who lays the motherfucking money down. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, hell no! Yeah, they basically have run out of challenges, but, uh, oh well. It's bloodbath challenge time again, folks. This time we're doing it with Grace. That may or may not have be royalty. Hey, that's uh, that's one. One target. Go me, I guess. Remember, kids, God. aliens and sodas don't mix. But if you have to mix them, make sure you're wearing clothes that you don't really care about. You will get wet. Jack is tossing these guys with his bare hands. Yeah, an Area 51 so challenge like would be guys with your bare hands. in order. The idea of too many to eat about. Oh, I get it. That's a hand job, Jack. Hey, you got me. Let's see. 
seriously, all these guys with crowns, are they all supposed to be, like, alien prince? King? Royalty? Kind of awkward, also, how it looks like I'm just jabbing them right in the forehead. Oh, a bonus UFO, huh? Oh yeah, bonus. But if you have to mix them, make sure you're wearing clothes that you don't really care about. You will get wet. Now that's a soda pop. Soda pop? What are you, my grandma? That makes me really oh. want a soda right Did now. Did I, like, not even really use the soda on these she guys? Worse than your wife on prom night. Which one? She still goes to proms. Jack's launched aliens the old-fashioned way. He's taking it back old school. Mm. Don't say that. You're too old to say that. But that's what the kids said. By referring to them as the kids, you have proven that you are too old. You know, Seriously, how am I supposed to hit these targets? The same thing. Why you gotta be so cool to animals? That's a sign of a sociopath. Aren't you the one who participated in and one death watch? Yeah, but I only killed people. That's not as cool. Frog killer. Mm. Ten seconds left, now we're living. Yours isn't. The distance? I don't know. Whatever. I'm not here to play these uh, challenges perfectly. You only get one shot at them. The Cyber Slicers come back? They sure have. I think? Yeah, overall, you're absolutely right. Hey, I think they like scotch. Are you kidding? To keep Jack from kicking my ass, I'd hide behind my retarded baby sister. A rose by any other name can still There it is you again. Up. I thought you needed a prescription to get those happy pills. No, they're over the counter. Once the counter goes over a certain amount of kills, you can get a happy pill. Come on, get, get up, Jack. Uh, the commentary, uh, as the kids might say, hits different in 2022. All right. Who wants some? I don't feel like taking on Robo Ninjas. If Jack hits that sucker with one more thing, he's going to score hella points. All right, I can get him with one more thing. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Actually stabbing a signpost through fish in a barrel and instead of fish. Yeah, you're probably right. Have you tried thinking? It is there to mask how repetitive uh, this game is. So, if Jack throws victims into the UFO, can't they just fire up the engines and escape? Well, with all that shit sticking under my duck, they'll make it to the sick bay. And Jack gets a jolt from the electric cane. You know, in some countries, they'll cane you just for going dumb on the sidewalk. But do they use electric canes? No, just regular. Bunch of fucking pussies. They deserve dummy sidewalks. You're strange. There you go. Blow one robot. Take that. All right. Extra life. Definitely want that. Looks like I gotta go up. Where's up in here? There's an up. Honestly, if it weren't for the art style, uh, 
You might be right. The, the, the only way people would have heard of this would be as because uh, uh, they made reference to it in uh, the game Anarchy Reigns that was on PS3. But I know Jack is a playable character in that as well. I don't even really know what kind of game it is. I've never actually played it. It's an extra life for Jack. I wonder why those other guys didn't grab that extra life. Yeah, it's almost as if they didn't see it. Same with the hot onions and power ups. It's my only Jack can see the weird. Yeah, that's that pretty much sums it up. Those are the the big three reasons you would have heard about this game. The shield thing again. Yeah, I know really nothing about Anarchy. I think Bayonetta is in it. I think that's another thing they did. All right, I do kind of want to take out the greys if I can. Might as well. The challenge is right there. Yeah, right. Torch one. Right, there we go. Do I want to go. Uh, where do I want to go? I want to go up. Where's up from here? Would you believe the camera's not great? I don't want to be in the cockpit. I want to go up on the outside. I guess I want to go up on this end, I believe. Maybe? Wasn't there an elevator around here? There is, yes. Right here. Let's take on the Masters. Let's not get sued by Disney. Now it would be Disney. Star Wars in general. For 2009. the boss switch and is now able to face the big boss. How'd he do that? I guess he got enough points. You guess? Well, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Some announcer you are. Really? What's the name of the show? Um, it's, uh, I don't know, it starts with a Q. Or is it kill something? For the glory of our house! Oh, all right. I guess if you have to make a magnetic field in black and white, that's how it would look. Wiping your ass. 
You got one of them, Jack, but don't forget there's two of them. If Jack does not stop dragging his ass, he's gonna get his ass kicked. Those electric pig stickers can hack ass chumps like butter. And you can't spell butter without butt. I can't spell it all. All right, here we go, I guess. I struggled with cutting that barrel in half, but maybe... Hmm. All right. I totally misinterpreted what they wanted me to do. I thought I would get to chop it in half. They take all that pissed off. I have no tones of skill that never get laid energy and channel it into those weedy ass big teamers that they'll wave around like they were in a fucking side by convention. I believe they refer to them as electro waves when they carve their initials on your pancreas in your last matchup. What the fuck ever? At least I don't live in my mom's basement. Or in the case of each of you, grandma's basement. I'm telling you, this whole wearing dresses and fighting guys in leather deal skeeps me out. Really? What part? Every fucking part. In all fairness, Josh should be able to use two chainsaws against this pair. In all fairness. Alright, I guess I'll get my second crack at it now. Alright, so I'm dodging. Look at those fucks chucking those trucks. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, I am cutting it in half. What? That wasn't even a damage opportunity. That was just damage avoidance. Man, when those bastards throw down, they fucking throw down. You got one of them, Jack, but don't forget there's two of them. Wow, priest freely. I definitely got both of them. Right. That's fine. That's fine. Almost got him. In all fairness, Jack should be able to use two chainsaws against this pair. In all fairness. Oh, here we go. What do we got here? Oh, hell yeah. All right. Just muscle my way out of this? Sure, I'm game. Get it? I get it. I get references. All right. Boss of Area 66. Martin. That was Martin's deal. I don't remember. I don't remember any of the bosses except for the very last one. I have sponsor number 13's representative on screen. Hello, Noah. Long time no see. It has been too long, your lordship. So, you were planning on mentioning your continued relationship with Jack. Or perhaps you wanted me to discover your off the book support. The last boss is own. incredible. I love the last boss and theme. golden eggs, Noah. Without harm in preening him even if he has flown the coop. Yes, but he continues to win. Isn't there more profit to be had as his sponsor? As you are no doubt aware, Jack is no common contestant. He came to this island with his own agenda. A contract with such a contestant wouldn't be legal. <laughs> yes, his agenda. You wouldn't happen to know what that is. He's costing us a great deal of money. No, uh, we support your endeavor. In fact, we are so enchanted with your product that we plan on significantly increasing our current investment. 
but we can hardly be expected to bear even a portion of your loss due to one rogue contestant's actions. No, that is entirely your responsibility. Or perhaps we, or rather, I have overestimated your abilities? The games are not yet over. True enough. I wish your organization best of luck with the remainder. I trust you'll be there to the end. Check his DNA. Though not as... what? His DNA. Check Jack's DNA. Get a sample of his blood and get it to the lab, now. Plenty of that around. Right away, sir. I had hoped you'd have realized who he is by now. Hmm. Thinking emoji. We'll learn soon enough. That's right, he's the son of Big Boss. He's just got all the dominant genes. Oh, no, wait, he's blonde, so he's got all the recessive genes. I hate this son of a bitch, Martin. The guy's a giant robot controlled by a remote control by some fat fuck chicken shit too scared to fight for himself. Why do they let him do that? Uh, probably because he's got a giant killer robot. Makes sense. One destructible target found. Martin the Martian? Is that what they're going for? Alright. I'll allow it. Welcome to the Robot Factory, where robots are made. Wow, that's some insight. Hey, you gotta play to the lowest common denominator. That would be you. Wait, I do this and I go to rank two? First version of Martin, he shot those out of his crotch. I remember that. The sensors made him judge because they said right. it made the crotch. Looking have like a, a smoke screen effect. This is actually, that's actually pretty good. I will allow that. You okay there, Martin? Jack looks like he was rode hard put away wet. What does that mean? It's a horse metaphor. But what does that mean? He sure is, Howard. Okay. That's what I get for hanging in real close. Why not? That's what Martin does. That's all he does. Well, that's the text messaging. Ooh. What weapon is this? Run. You know they say it's not the size of the missile that matters. Yeah, the people who say that have tiny missiles. And by missiles, I mean <laughs> Thanks, Priest Creeley. Yeah, I learned his name since last time. Alright, let's not get got by any missiles, so. In fact, I would love to have some of my own. Yeah, you know everything about getting paid loads. These missiles are getting me flashback. The war? No, high school metal shop. They look like my old farm. Oh, just, just bowled me over. Okay. Uh, there it is. That's the wedge. Just let him keep doing that, I guess. Look at the payload on that sucker! Yeah, you know everything about him. Paid loads. Oh, again with the smoke. Okay. I don't like this. At least I had a rough idea of where he is. 
Pushing it real close though. Look at him go. Look, lives are a resource, so I might as well spend them. Okay, let's finish this. Wow, Jack spun the shit out of that thing. Do you think he planned for it to happen like that? I don't think he didn't plan for it. What? I'm not gonna repeat myself. Double negatives. Always a classic source of humor. Timeless. Well, you know, integrating Good job by a set piece there, from a challenge is, I'll be honest, more clever, more puts more thought into the it than I expected. This round really hurt his chances of a high score. It also hurt my chances of seeing something really... Yeah, yeah. Got one region left. Let's get to it. That's not possible. It's oh. a 99.9% .9 match, sir. It's him. Well, it's possible. There hasn't been a Death Watch game since 2001, which would make Jack the reigning champion. There's a record of his death in 2001, the Atwar suicide bombing. His name has changed along with his face, his fingerprints, even the color of his eyes. He really didn't want the Bureau following him. No, he wasn't hiding from them. He was hiding from us. You think he could have forged all those Ministry of Justice records himself? Look, he left the Marines in 2001, right when he was supposed to have died. The Ministry had a hand in this. He works for justice? As much as Jack works for anybody. He's an MOJ spy. He has been all along. The Ministry's Bureau of Public Security were the ones yeah, who helped he escape from justice. the Death Watchers. That's he a really the incredible us, line. And they erased his identity in return. Oh, man. Did you know that the, the person who wrote the story for this game uh, also wrote, like, Ogre Battle? The rescue effort launched by the authorities three days after the occupation and the attempt at driving us out both failed spectacularly. With our identity unknown and a total blackout... I mean, I don't know much of anything about touches, Ogre Battle, but I'm why they sent him, serious. The one man who knows who we are and what we do. I mean... Pull up the Wikipedia on this real quick. Uh, da -da, development. So this is the strip, huh? Do I have time for a lap dance? Perv. Kill him. I don't care how. Just kill him. Whatever it takes. No way. We follow the fucking rules. That voice. He's the star attraction. It's Dr. However Leon S. Him, Kennedy. We kill him by the book. It's what the audience expects. That's what they pay for. But Leonardo. Continue the games, Noah. We have quite a loss to make up for. Don't worry, Jack will fight. He will die a horrific yet profitable death. You know where we stand, Noah. Jack may be a dangerous man, but I'd rather fight him myself than have Lord Gesser for an enemy. Yeah, okay, here's the Wikipedia entry. An excerpt from the Wikipedia entry. The game story was written by Yasumi Matsuno, famous for his design in the Ogre Battle series and a number of Square Enix titles. Oh, 
Well, they spend all the money on all the other games, so, you know, that's kind of what happens. Anyway, casino time. Oh, yeah, one other part of the excerpt here in the paragraph. Montano was given two opposing guidelines to writing the scenario. Uh, while the development team ruled that violence should be acceptable in the game's world, Inaba, uh, as in the producer? Yeah, the producer kind of among games. Uh, I lost my place while I was scrolling up. Inaba expressed his desire for violence to be denied in the end due to current views of violence in the video game industry. So, uh, spoilers, I guess. Could you believe that if uh, the game would ever have a moral, it would be that violence is bad? All right. Really makes you think. Bad news, Jack. Is there any other kind these days? Your cover's blown. The Death Watchers have been accessing the profile the Ministry set up. So, we expected this. Luckily, you've been doing well. They wouldn't just snuff out their highest rated performer. Assholes couldn't if they wanted to. Let's hope you're right. These Death Watchers, according to what you told us, they're just running the games. That's right. They're more front office than anything else. They keep the games going, set the betting rates, and make a shitload of cash. Cash that comes from these sponsors? They're the ones who pull the strings. They supply the capital and make sure the proceeds come back to their pockets. I'm sure they bet along with the rest of the audience, too. Say you complete your mission and take down the Death Watchers. What about these investors, Jack? Think you can reach them? I can reach anyone. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. What's that old saying about a bird in the hand? Yes, but if the goal is to strike evil at its root... Evil? <laughs> I got a news flash for you, sweetheart. We're all evil. All of us. We've taken this planet of ours and fucked it. Okay, Jack. Okay. I get it. Oh, Listen, man. I'm not gonna promise okay, that you was the really good, you though. want. But here's a little something for you to do in case you're bored. There's all sorts of shit set up for these games. Find out the story behind it. I'm already way ahead of you. One thing's for sure. There's no way they built that place after taking over the city. They must have been working on it in secret for months. There's the dispassionate bureau analyst we know and love. I checked into real estate records, building contracts, and all the companies involved. Every one of them was a front. Someone was using dormant properties and paper corporations like a pro. The trail stops cold. Of course it does. It's supposed to. Look, check again. This wasn't planned by robots. They fucked up somewhere. Find it. But Jack, I... Look, I'd love to chat, but I've got company over for tea. Maybe next time, huh? Can't help but feel like there's supposed to be something in those white come panels. Come one, come all! But, Got three oh well. of these games under my belt. Why not make it four? Just don't get cocky. Who wants a piece of the champ? If you want to see some fast and dirty action, the Jefferson Island Casino is the place to go. The only thing cheaper than the drinks here is the value placed on human life. The higher you roll, the farther you fall in this glittering fantasy land where dreams are shattered along with the heads that Let's house them. Go. Don't forget the great buffets. All you can eat is I mean, this whole soundtrack is really good, but this is a really good song. At least I'm, I dig it. But yeah, I love that Jack was about to go into this whole spiel about how all of humanity is evil. And, you know, we're ruining the planet and all that. And Kamala's like, no, stop, shut up. I don't need to hear this again. I get it. But this is fun, a little bit. 
pinball action. Even if I don't really get a great view of... Ooh, it's been a while since I've snapped a guy's neck like that. Oh, I even have just a small area. That's Oh my god, I can't believe he he jumped and dodged. You really think so? He would murder the other team, his team, and anybody who didn't get out of the stadium fast enough. At least meant to get excited. Maybe I just went the wrong direction. There's a lot more here. Oh my god, I can't believe I got got by the bear the tire trick. That's alright, I got my payback. Black or white? Okay. Robo bartender that also. I don't know. I wanted to take the champagne bottle and, like, uh. Fling a guy into one of these pinball bumpers. I'll go for daggers, why not? Spin to win. Alright, sure. Spin to win time, baby. Let's go. Oh, I guess didn't win all the way, but a little dismemberment is fine. Come on, dude. Hold still and let me stab you. That'll work too. Alright, uh, what else we got? Got anything? Got the stage for man darts too, but Yeah, not allowed. Oh man, I'm dying. This what this game is all about. Horribly mutilating energy in the big frog makes me all warm inside. That guy's warm inside is now outside. There he is. Oh, he's already lost his arms. Now, I just remembered, there's a... Uh, oh. One thing that I kind of regret missing out on that was really fun. Or at least I thought it was fun. 
as a roulette ball. So I'm, one of the things, you know, is just shoving all kinds of objects into people's faces, right? Um, I could have sworn that there was a level where you could get, like, horns and just, like, shove them in their ears. And then when they wobble around all stunned, they would occasionally toot, and that was hilarious. I think it was hilarious, at least. But it looks like I've completely missed that. Like, if you're going to go for Tom and Jerry itchy and scratchy type stuff, that is perfect. That's the exact tone that you need. Right, where is that afterburner sound? It's got to be on the other side, right? Yeah, okay, there it is. Good old afterburner. You can run, but you can't hide, you fucking godless baby man. You know what's more dangerous than a maniac on a motorcycle? Your wife on her menstrual cycle? How'd you get stuck? Dude, I'm gonna sit here with you all night. Oh, that's so cute. You just lost me, they were on training for you. They grow up so fast and die so young. That's the trick that stopped me cold in the 98 game. All that money. All that pretty, pretty money. What's so interesting about that? Oh, my. Jack just made the world's biggest. I don't know anything about food, but is it still yakitori if it's beef? Like I thought yakitori was specifically chicken. Bring out the barrels. Still can't move on, so I guess, uh, I guess we're gonna ride. Again with this joke? Stop, please. Oh my god. Well, you know, people people sometimes like to take creative licenses with their uh, with their recipes. I guess God bless him for it. But yeah, yakitori de pollo, and chicken yakitori. Hmm. I am gonna file that under distinction without a difference. I thought you needed a prescription to get those happy pills. No, they're over the counter. Once the counter goes over a certain amount of kills, you can get a happy pill. Sorry, the I don't think the zombie was involved. Oh, I 
Hey, good lord, look at that fountain. It looks like something getting it up back there. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a trick ass 50 year old dude in the trannies. Hell to the knob, bitches. It's Mad Darts 2. I guess it's uh, part of that whole thing about oh boy, uh, it's my favorite time of the day. prescriptivism the versus descriptivism. Because obviously, my gut says, how do you have a quesadilla without cheese? It's literally right there in the name. But I guess if it resembles a quesadilla, then maybe the spirit is still there. But I don't know. Come on now, pimps and players. Y'all know you love the Black Baron's attempted humor there, didn't you? With your stank asses. Swing the bat and teach some motherfucker that when it's time to play, it's time to pay. And of course, when it comes to pimping and pain, the only G's who gets a shot at Man Darts 2 are the real all-star players. All right, how are they going to put a wrinkle in this one, I wonder? No oh, shit, what the... Oh, hell no! Go, go! All right. Here we are in the final round of the Blood Bath Challenge. The rules are simple. Why are you explaining the rules? If they don't know them at this point in the game, they're fucking stupid and deserve to be one of the guys launched into the target. I can... Huh? That wasn't a bullseye? Bullshit. Alright, I guess the wrinkle is sometimes the guys have chainsaws and can fight back. Also dodge. There's a bullseye. Thank you. A bullseye. Oh, I thought it was the G spot. You don't have sex with a woman more than once, do you? I do if they're really drunk and they don't recognize me. That oh. looks like some young. Oh. Did he die? Yeah, I thought so too. Maybe he's a ghost. I'm still a bullseye. Only to hold me. One. One minute. You got one. One for you. Fucking you on your honeymoon. All I have to do is pull the trigger. That's all you have to do. I whacked three dudes like that once. You whacked three dudes. Fuck off. Or what? You whack me off. Fuck off. Fucker. Or what? You fucking whack me off. Fucker whack. Fucking whack off. Fuck face and fucking whack off. Right, yeah, I'm gonna need that happy onion real soon. Never seem to help. Stay off the drugs, kids. Drink booze. I at least hold out long enough to survive the challenge. I would like to survive the challenge. Those things bite and it hurt, but you were bit by a zombie? Doesn't it mean you're going to become a zombie? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Hey, wait a minute. Does anybody else smell brains? Delicious brains? Is that an onion in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? I know you're trying to do a happy onion joke, but it doesn't work. I know, but I'm trying to stop trying. Ten seconds life not worth living. Yours isn't. Five oh, seconds. Come on, zombie. Get a little closer. I guess the the difference is you get different enemy types, but who cares? I never got to serve in the army, and I guess I'm a little sick of Why would you want to serve in the military? Because I would have loved to beat the shit out of a superior officer and then get thrown out. You can still beat up an officer. Well, believe me, I have. It's just not the same. Bullseye. Oh, they gave sort me point cliche, credit for that one, even though that was clearly... Suggest? Nothing. I was just After pointing the out time. an area where you could do better. Well, at least have some constructive criticism. Hey, don't shoot the messenger just because you're boring. Wow. Can't believe there is a call out in there, and I kind of missed half of it. But the gates have opened. Yeah, yeah. And here are the results of Jack's battle. 
bets down, please, and be sure to leave your chips on the table. The final round is going to be a killer. Yeah, funny. There was no boss to that map. Well, let's just keep it going. I guess it makes sense. We only have one rank to go. Jack, I've got some new intel. That was quick. You find something about the facility? No, we're still looking into that. I have another analyst working on it. Okay, enlighten me. The yeah, there's definitely the something missing with these the white watchers. panels. Apparently he's quite the superstar in some circles. There's gotta be. And I'm sure he isn't talking or cutting any deals. Because someone in the government above the Ministry of Justice stepped in and dragged him off before you could so much as offer him a cup of tea. Yes, that's... How did you know? Say hello to one of your roots of evil, Amala. Paid for by our very own tax dollars. What? Are you suggesting that our government is involved in this blood sport? Sorry, I was being too subtle. <laughs> I tend to do that sometimes. Look, the president may not know anything as usual, but someone near the top sure as hell does. Maybe they didn't mastermind it, but they're involved. And they're after the same thing the rest of the audience is. Money. Jack. Please, don't whine about the government betraying us. The government's just people, Amala. And people don't all share our Founding Fathers' values. Some, like you, protect us. But some just want to mug us in an alley. That's all it ever was. Then why leave the games, Jack? If we're all so corrupt up here? No reason. Guess I just got tired of myself. Tired of killing. Sorry. Not as subtle as a sledgehammer, okay. this game. You probably don't talk to lowlifes like me much, I'm guessing. You know what they say, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Well, some of us never leave the dust. We spend our whole lives in it. So, we done? Because I need to keep moving. Games are up pretty soon, and there's a kill seeker out there in first place who needs to be kicked off the throne. Only way to meet the Death Watchers is to win their game. I haven't lost one of these yet. Jack, be careful. Amala, I have a chainsaw on my arm. I'll be fine. In a pleasure palace where dreams are made and hearts are broken, every elevator has the potential to take you straight to the top. On the other hand, stepping through those doors might send you tumbling to hell. You roll the dice, you yeah. take your chance. Yeah. In Death Watch, yeah. the house we'll always confused. wins we'll and the losers the game, always win the out. The Beetle guy, he's bad. All right, got him. Oh, the little ones, too. Right. You're you're absolutely right. It's not a beat 'em up until you have the elevator section. Get out of here. Another really good song, by the way. Like the, uh, the refrain. 
push all the buttons. Push all the buttons. Now, how the heat that do? Fuck with it, you believe that too? The blood of people, I bleed that blue to the two hot for the edge of kick too. What time? Ten goes back to the ass kick all over again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or he might be looking to get shooed in the nuts. Maybe he's a perfect curb stomping. Well, there you go. Ten goes back to the cheap shot. Hey, any shot you can get in is valuable. Oh, man, you got here. Now a car to a pick that's good as new. Jack needs to roll three more assholes to make his point. Oh, he's got to be crap out. Ah, a crap strip. Hey, any shot you can get in is valuable. Looks like Jack should have been a baseball player. You really think so? He would murder the other team, his team, and anybody who didn't get out of the stadium fast enough would at least make the game exciding. I can't believe they're blaspheming baseball on this, the last day of the regular season in 2022. Jack looks like he was rode hard and put away wet. What does that mean? It's a horse metaphor. What is that mean? Alright. Goes Tengu. One more enemy killed today. You think you can pick up this fast? Knock him down the last bit standing. It's a bumping metaphor. Holy, what's the Yes. You've been to my trailer several times. It is a meth lab, but I do live there. Oh, I get it. Kind of a home of food. Yeah, Jack's right on. That happy pill put some life back into Jack. Yay, Jack's home. Well, you, sir, are a fucking idiot. Thank you for calling me, sir. And here comes Bull Trotter with a hard on for a rematch. Speaking of hard on, do you know how they get sperm from a bull? They extract it from my ex wife's underwear. I will say the uh, the meth lab home office tax write off thing did get me. Fair enough, Priest Creeley. Big part of that might be because it kind of reminds me of uh, my favorite article about Yakuza 3. Uh, where it may or may not have been played by uh, three members of uh, Yakuza families. Specifically the bit where they talk, where one of them talks about how he knows a guy who, uh, who runs an orphanage. Calls him a great guy. Then, uh... Another one of the Yakuza yeah, guys like, was like, wait a second, I thought that was a tax shelter thing. The first guy says, oh yeah, of course it's a tax shelter, but he still runs it like it's legit. Hey, you can still uh, find it online somewhere. Uh, but I've also heard uh, allegations that it's actually, or that the author uh, might or might not have a habit of uh, making shit up. Which, if true, would be very disappointing. But, but even so, it's still. Because he's written like a ton about like this seedy underbelly of Japan and you know, like Yakuza stuff. Just over decades. Well, yeah, that's the reason it came up because uh, in Yakuza 3, uh, Kiryu does, uh, he runs an orphanage. So that's why they were talking about it in the interview. Like one of the actual 
Yakuza guys knows a guy who runs an orphanage. Jack, you all right? The <laughs> carrier is yeah, running it legit. Fine, fine. Ticker's still ticking. <laughs> Ixnay on the shouting, please. Jack, so good to hear you're doing well. Ah, Agent 13. How'd he get on this channel? Oh, we roots of evil love to spread our tendrils and mingle where we're not welcome. So, to what do we owe this intrusion? Selling raffle tickets? Jack, as a past participant in the games, what do you think of this round? What do I think? You know better than any of us what the Death Watchers want, what they value. Tell me what you feel, Jack. In your bones. It's the blood and circuses all over again, that's all. Gladiators against gladiators. And a crowd eager to see guts spill on the sand. You think there's more to it than that? Because <laughs> there isn't. I had hoped we were past the lies, Jack. Surely you understand that a Death Watch game without purpose is nothing more than mindless self-indulgence. There's a purpose to all this killing? As I've said before, these games are always held when conflict must be settled with blood. Yet now, even though there is no pressing need, the people's demand for the games is higher than it's ever been. They thirst. You know, 13, I like this whole purpose thing of yours. It's very zen. It's just kind of hard to believe a word you say when you're making money hand over fist here. Money is trivial, Jack. I wanted to see things die. Not just people, bigger things. Ideas, nations, cultures, gods. Can't believe I'm here like to attack the and dethrone before. God. I wanted to see the losers pay with more than just their lives. I wanted to see the winner win more than just money. I wanted to see them win the future, win the promise of power. But these games, they don't deserve the title of Death Watch. This is just watching the world burn. That's why no games have been held since 2001? Quite right, Miss Amala. So you're telling me that the organizers of the current games duped you into thinking they had some grand vision, but that you only found out it was all bullshit entertainment after you cashed your check? If this is all entertainment, then why are you here, Jack? To burn this game to the ground. But, Jack, hadn't you heard? The world has already gone mad. I don't drop. There is nothing left to burn. But I digress. Allow me to take my leave. Oh, and Miss Amala, look to Springvale for answers about the Death Watch facility. Springvale? You mean the Springvale conglomerate? My name's Leo. Leo Falmont. I'm in my residency at Jefferson Central Hospital's ER. Or I was, I guess. Thanks again. So what's your excuse? What? Why are you still alive? Alive? I... Springvale. Don't they have a lot of pull in pharmaceuticals? Something about industry consolidation. So long, Jack. Best of luck. A mad world, huh? <laughs> I'll fit right in. Another title drop. Here we go. Yeah, I wonder at one point they're going to talk about what the real motivation behind these games is. Probably after the fight, if I had to guess. Jack, 13 was right. I checked into the building contracts and real estate records for the facility. Turns out that the signing lawyers were all from the same office, run by none other than Springville's corporate lawyer. Good enough for me. What's the bureau have to say? Last year's presidential elections and those reports of illegal donations made to the Socialist Party? Springvale stock was hit hard, really hard, and the Bureau thinks they started up the games to recoup losses. Hmm. Fucked up, but I understand. Still, that's 
not enough to go indicting anyone. Of course not, which is why you have to get into game control and apprehend the men running this. The Bureau's counting on you. You think the Ministry of Justice is gonna get their hands dirty weeding your garden for you? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Never mind. No time for chit-chat now, anyway. Jack has climbed over Here we a go. mountain of bodies to reach this. The pinnacle of the Death Watch competition. Here in this amazing stadium in front of a bloodthirsty crowd of the city survivors, Jack will face his final foe in a brutal battle for the championship. There can only be one number one in this fight to the death. Well, duh. It's a mathematical fact. There can only be one number one. For the last fucking time, nobody said there'd be math. I blame all. Schools. Right, there can only be one pimp player and pain purveyor. And arguably the best track in the whole soundtrack. You see my swag, you wanna come and give me all this drag. Maybe I think you better back up, because those bitches give you a smack. What's your name again, Jack? I didn't forgot about the grill. Don't let the fly taste fool ya. Motherfuckers by time that I school ya. Don't worry, I'm not in a hurry. I don't even wanna get my fresh gear dirty. I totally forgot that I had the geishas in my corner too. Oh my god. Oh, so good. This is it. The final match with the final boss on the final stage. Finally, this special stage featuring an incredible panoramic view of the devastated Maryland city was created to allow the two toughest fuckers left in the game to beat each other senseless. Get ready for a savage battle between two amazing opponents with lots of broken bones, bloody knees, and maybe even a surprise or two from outside the ring. Surprise? Really? What is it? That would be telling. That's why I'm asking. All right. I might drag this fight out uh, a little bit because I remember that it goes pretty fast. Maybe. I'm not using his cane. Are you saying I've walked the sausage too much? Only if you consider 24 hours a day, 365 days a year too much. I live for Leaky. Oh, can't get a good combo going. The Baron's just his guard. Now cop that bastard like a Christmas turkey. Maybe you would if you wouldn't have drawn that gay apparel. It's Halloween time, not Christmas time. All right, here we go. Love this power struggle too. Simple yet effective. Oh, the song changed. I didn't think that would happen. Oh, oh, oh no. That's, that's what, uh, one guy did, I think. Von Twirling killer? 
Jack's kind of take the page out of the orbook and do it by hand. Are you saying He's just kind of playing sure you can. Only if you consider 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, scuba. Oh, I did not get the dodge. I got the ultimate red hot kick to the face. Disappointing. Oh. Alright, I changed my mind about dragging this fight out. Wait, I lost? I can't believe I lost on Tower Starter. What happened? What? Let's try that again. Alright. Ooh, the headbutt. Alright. This is it. It's a matter of and now it looks like the Baron's bitch is gonna get some payback. Who's the bitch now, Baron? Ooh, when the bat connects with a brain scrambling hit to the head. I guess it's goodbye for Matilda. Hate to see her go, but I love to watch her leave. Yeah, some real sweet cheeks on the gal, and she was damn handy with that bat too. Speaking of which. Well. Jack's got the bat in his hand and murder in his eye. And the bloodlust is building in the bleachers. Now the choppers are bringing in the man darts board, and we all know what that means. A big fucking finish. Yes, but I think Jack's got a little unfinished business first. The Baron doesn't even know what planet he's on. Pretty soon it won't matter. That's right, Baron. What's good for the bitch is good for the bastard. I wonder how he likes being on the receiving end of a pimp slap. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Time for that big fucking finish you were talking about. Absolutely. This is what we've all been waiting to see. Jack winds up. The crowd is going crazy. He swings. And connects the center of the dartboard. And the Baron is history. Howard, this crowd has gone absolutely well, it's a pretty weak bat flip, though. These fireworks are a fitting end to an explosive evening of murder and mayhem. Outstanding performance. Not even a bat drop, either. Disappointing. I know a beer, some beaver, and a big fat sequel. Speaking of beaver, it's time for us to split. This is Howard Buckshot Holmes. And Chris Creeley. Saying thanks to all the players, the viewers, and of course, our sponsors. And we'll see you in hell. Yep, there it is. Jack is now number one for the fourth time. Yeah, for a theme that's supposed to be about, like, rejecting violence, that sure was, uh, very, very accepted violence. But it is still within the game. Congratulations, Jack. Champion once again. At our considerable expense. Oh, quit whining. Sucks to be you. 
Yeah. Maybe you weren't meant to be in the bookie business. You tell him, You could Chad. try something else. Polo, maybe. It's a thought. So is this. Kill him! Gee, I wonder who could have shot that guy. Jack? Jack! Are you okay? Jack? What's going on? I do. Did you have to, like, punch it into your ear Looks like, like that? Looks like I'm the one in need of a rescue. Jack! I'm glad I made it in time. I saw you go into the tower, so I snuck in after you. You snuck in? Oof. What? I'll give you credit. You ran a pretty good line of bullshit. But in the end, it smelled exactly like crap. You were the one who set all this up. You and your daddy's company. <coughs> it's all about publicity, isn't it, Leo? What better way to get the word out about a killer virus than release it on an entire city? Funny coincidence, your company makes the vaccine. Why, any self-respecting country would pay whatever you asked if the alternative was annihilation. I... <coughs> want my lawyer. I've got... <coughs> I've got nothing to say to you. Buddy, I don't think your lawyer's what you need right Not now. Not even one little thing. See, I was wondering, why Death Watch? If getting word out about the virus was the goal. Why risk an uncontrolled element like the games? Jack, you're here to arrest me, right? You better hurry or, or I'm gonna die on you. <laughs> oh, Leo. Poor little Leo. I'm no champion of justice, and I'm certainly not its bitch. Like, dude, he just gave you that big gash in your torso like that. What? You really think you mean you're just he's trying to arrest you? The bureau? <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> oh, come on. Clear your throat and answer my question, douchebag. My my dad wanted the vaccine. That was his. I just you just... It was fun, Jack. That's all. I can have anything. Drugs. Women. But the game. Jack, the game. It was the best, Jack. Ah, so that's why you were there. Just had to be in the thick of it, didn't you? Wanted to feel it on your skin. <coughs> now, help me, or I'm gonna. <coughs> I don't help people. Oh, here we go. Well, I guess that wasn't much of a here we go. It is a callback, though. Where's the other half? I kill them. There it is. Thank you, Jack.
hate this part of town. These oh. billboards are a fucking waste of money. Here we so go. Credit Credits. Wars, if you ask me, I didn't. Not playable in any way. This isn't one of those platinum games. The game designers are the guys who are in charge of this clusterfuck. How can you tell which one is the lead programmer? He's the one that more than the other programmers. Um, I'm pretty sure he has gone on to, you know, direct Bayonetta 2. Or was it... Did he direct Bayonetta 2? Or was it Astral Chain? Yeah, that's the end. I've seen these guys, and they're ugly as sin. Worst models ever. Modelers, not models, you idiots. They're still ugly. The lead animator is the lower intestine of the animation world. Yeah, yep. we gotta have the commentators oh, over the credits. Shit. Animators are the guys who bring the action to life. I think you mean they're the guys who get no action their whole life. Yeah, what did I say? If he's the lead artist, I'd hate to see the morons he leads. Artists are like a rash. You don't know where they come from, and you don't care. Just as long as they go away. They changed their name to artist when they realized that brain dead booger eaters wasn't going to fit on their business cards. They only had one guy as the blood effects designer? Oh, he must have been working 24 7. You know, the right, interface I'll allow that designers one. are. Interface designers? How the hell do you get that job? I said interface, not in her face. Don't care. I'm already getting my resume ready. You know, this is a disappointment after the amazing soundtrack he did for Anal Butt Slugs number 14. Yeah, I bought the CD for that one. How sad to go from world class. Oh, my God, they're making it hard to. Supervising sound editor. To talk oh, over. How the might he have it's fallen. a natural sound impulse editing. of mine. Jesus, everything but, uh, like yeah, fuck. there it is. Sorry, That's that Mad World. Oh, Howard. I don't know if Maybe it wasn't a perfect playthrough, but it's done. Sound programming. I don't think story writer is the right title for this guy. What title would you use? I don't know, something along the lines of Mercurial Drama Queen Hat works for me. Oh my god. Wow. And look at this, the spell checker gets a credit too. JP Kellum. Don't make it right, but two writers sure can make it wrong. What? Right, yeah. This guy's storyboards remind me of the It's my of impulse to not talk over talking people in the game, the but with these pictures, commentators, I should shit. make an this exception. Um, so yeah, he won this job not a perfect the game. The uh, a uh, some of it hasn't aged we well, but it's a cinematic designer under uh, made -up job titles at least it was short on. enough to get through it in two streams. I'll give it that. It wasn't terrible. I just Jesus, probably won't be any rush to Howard play it again Sentai. anytime wow, soon. Really I'll admit that. But, you know, this is... Grand design. This is one of Platinum's first games. I mean, it's the first game they ever actually released. So, of course, it's going to be rough around the edges. Ah. Uh, enough commentators. Thank God. Uh, let's see, what else can I say? I'm trying to keep an eye out for anything on voice acting, but it doesn't look like it's going to be here. Oh, wait, there it is. Oh my God, that's so many voices. Uh, Robin Atkin Downs, Operator A, and Kojak. I was right. Voice of Travis Touchdown and so many other characters. Also a very prolific voice actor. Just a... Oh my god. Oh wait, no, never mind. Those are alternate voices. I saw the names for uh, the voice actors for, for Crease and Howard. I thought, oh no, did they have to use pseudonyms because this was like a non-union gig kind of thing? But no. I wasn't paying attention. Those were the Spanish voices. That's on me. Uh, what else are they going to say? Rough around the edges. 
it's not surprising that uh, that future Platinum games didn't really follow this bru this uh, uh, blueprint. And so it goes. After all, the point of the, their original like first three or four projects was to show the breadth of what they were capable of, and this was, you know, more of the arcadey type hack and slash high score pacing kind of game what else one thing i will say i do it kind of makes me feel bad to report this but uh, the guy who directed this game this was the only game he directed uh, before and after this, he was just more like support programming on a few games. Evident or er, emphasis on few. Um, and so it goes, right? Uh, went on to. I know he did some work on Tokyo Ghostwire. Which one was the producer? Uh, he showed up that one time with pizza for everybody and asked if everything was okay, and then he left. I thought that was the pizza delivery oh, no, guy. The commentators are back. The director's a lot like my dad. He gets drunk, he yells a lot, he passes out in a pool of his own drool. He's harmless, and people usually just ignore his ramblings. Oh, no. They, decide, they thought they could add some extra replay value with new weapons. The katana and the double chainsaw. We will not be seeing those. That's it for Mad World. Sega. Just in case you forgot who produced this. The nunchuck is in. Thank you. He didn't say killing was bad. Wow, you, you know, you're right. I don't know what happened there. Man, I can't believe Wikipedia was wrong. I can't believe the website that's famous for letting anyone put anything on any page, uh, you know, barring some exceptions, uh, turned out to have misleading information. You know what? That's on me. That's on me for not vetting what I was reading beforehand. I humbly apologize. <laughs>